You just announced you'll be building the first Hyperloop in Dubai. Why Dubai? People that are extremely excited about it, they're capable of doing it, they have the vision to do it, and they have the, the will to do it. I think the whole country is acting like a startup. So 40, 50 years ago, it didn't exist. It was just a bunch of sand. Really quick, how exactly will it work? If these folks get a ticket on the Hyperloop, what would happen? Inside of the Hyperloop, we basically have a low pressure environment. The whole system's autonomous, so it's really a, a smooth experience that will feel like an elevator ride. I think we actually have video of this. Yes. Um, yes. And so this is kind of the, the next phase of, yeah. of Hyperloop. Why these exist is because we can make a station that's far, far smaller and more compact, highly flexible, and allow you to shift on demand. And so here it is. You can see that nice, stable ride, that cup of coffee, still warm. Come into the station here. It'll pop out. And these, these pods are highly interchangeable. So you see they're immediately backfilling the transporters that you see. This portal is beautiful because you intuitively know where you need to go. You can see all the gates in one spot. What if these guys drive out on the road? Uh, so that's what we're going for because it's door to door and you can do it faster than you can before. Wow. Okay. What will be the use case, the best use case for how it'll be used? Well, the, uh, the first projects will, will be cargo. Uh, it's been the vision from the beginning, but we're, we have cargo and passenger solutions in the product roadmap. Um, but the impact uh, of, of uh, having cargo on Hyperloop is, is quite immense. Uh, you can go from ordering something to manufacturing and distributing and delivering it all within a 48 to 72 hour period of time. Obviously, that it sounds so great in theory, but I'm sure there are a lot of regulatory issues you guys have to have to work through. Uh, there is this space where technology and innovation gets so far ahead of our existing re regulatory uh, paradigms that uh, there's that delta. And we saw this with Uber, where uh, Uber advanced uh, transportation within the cities. Uh, to a point where the regulations and the taxi industries and couldn't actually keep up with it. And Hyperloop, you see the same thing. Elon Musk said it, it would cost something like uh, 11.5 million per mile. Uh, some documents have showed actually it would be something like 52 million dollars a mile. You know, how do you negotiate the cost and, and be able to build out? The costs are actually lower lower than that. We just recruited Brent Kalinikos, who is. Uh, he was the CFO of Uber, um, and he took Uber from 300 people to 3,000 people, raised billions of dollars. He's he's going to be helping us kind of raise the next next rounds. One of the things you've always talked about with Hyperloop is this Kitty Hawk moment, um, this moment where you can the dreams have been realized. You can show the power uh, of Hyperloop. So when is that moment? We've got these large tubes going up in the desert. We've got the pods going uh, together at our facilities and testing early next year. So before Kitty Hawk in America, the only things that could fly were balloons and birds. And afterwards, people could fly. So our Kitty Hawk moments when Hyperloop can fly. What would be your advice to entrepreneurs in the audience who might have a moonshot idea um, and it seems so ambitious and so disruptive that they don't even know where to start? My advice to any entrepreneur in the audience that wants to go after a moonshot idea is this is the absolute best time in human history to go after these types of ideas. Um, there's no better environment uh, for that to happen. If you look at what we've been able to do in the last uh, two years, uh, we've been able to compress time and make things happen that would have taken over a decade in, in, uh, in any, uh, any other era. And so if you have the idea, uh, go for it. This is the time. Wonderful. Thank you.